Setup of a MyValex ventilation unit by using a computer. These instructions apply to the Windows 10 operating system. Make the following settings on your computer. 1. Enable network search. 2. Enable sharing of files and printers. Making changes to the settings require admin rights. Disconnect the ventilation unit from the mains electricity supply. Connect a LAN cable between the computer and the ventilation unit. Plug the ventilation unit back into the mains. Open resource management on the computer and select network. Double click on the icon with the text Valux and the series of numbers. The series of numbers at the end will change. If the unit is being turned on for the first time, the setup is completed through the setup menu. The menu will open automatically in the browser. Set the language, time and date. Move on in the menu by pressing Next. Select the user level of the user. Select whether parental controls are in use. Adjust the supply and the extract airflows of the at home mode. Measure the airflows from the supply and extract air valves. Set the percentage of the supply air fan. Set the percentage of the extract air fan. The airflows at the at home mode have now been adjusted. Lock the valves. Go to the at home menu. Set the supply air temperature of the at home mode. Ensure that the humidity and the carbon dioxide base controls are turned on. Adjust the supply and the extract air flows of the away mode. Measure the air flows from the supply and the extract air valves. Do not change the adjustment settings of the air valves. Select Away in the menu. Set the fan percentage of the away mode. The supply and extract air ratio is the same as the at home mode. Set the supply air temperature of the away mode. Ensure that the humidity and the carbon dioxide base controls are turned on. The air flows of the away mode have now been adjusted. Adjust the supply and the extract air flows of the boost mode. Measure the air flows from the supply and extract air valves. Select Boost in the menu. Set the fan percentage of the boost mode. The supply and extract air ratio is the same as at the at home mode. Set the supply air temperature of the boost mode. Ensure that the humidity and the carbon dioxide base controls are turned on. Select whether the timing of the boost mode is turned on or off. If on, set the duration of the boost. Select fireplace in the menu. Increase the percentage of the supply air fan by the required amount. Set the efficiency of the extract air fan to the same level as in the at home mode. Ensure that the timer is turned on and check its duration. If there is no fireplace in the apartment, use the same fan percentages as in the at-home mode. A summary of the settings will appear on the display. Press Finish. The setup is now complete. If this is not your first setup of a unit, the setup is complete through the Operations menu. The menu will open automatically in the browser. You can also restore the factory settings of the unit in order to access the setup menu. If you restore factory settings, reselect the network from the computer. Do not restore factory settings if Modbus or other settings have been made. Restoring factory settings will delete all settings that have been made. Go to the operations menu. Select the at home mode and the at home settings by pressing the pen icon. Turn off humidity and carbon dioxide base controls. Confirm by pressing OK. Select the away mode and the away settings by pressing the pen icon. Turn off humidity and carbon dioxide base controls. Confirm by pressing OK. Select the boost mode and the boost settings by pressing the pen icon. Turn off humidity and carbon dioxide base controls. 
Confirm by pressing OK. Go to Expert Settings. Go to the Bypass Settings of the Heat Recovery Cell. Select Heat Recovery Cell Bypass, Off. Go to the Basic Fan Settings and Ventilation Modes. Adjust the supply and extract air flows of the At Home Mode. Measure the air flows from the supply and extract air valves. Set the percentage of the supply air fan. Set the percentage of the extract air fan. The air flows of the At Home Mode have now been adjusted. Lock the valves. Select the At Home Mode and the At Home settings by pressing the pen icon. Set the supply air temperature. Turn on humidity and carbon dioxide based controls. Confirm by pressing OK. Adjust the supply and the extract air flows of the away mode. Measure the air flows from the supply and extract air valves. Do not change the adjustment settings of the air valves. Select the away mode and turn it on. Select the away settings by pressing the pen icon. Set the fan percentage of the away mode. The supply and extract air ratio is the same as in the at home mode. Set the supply air temperature of the away mode. Turn on humidity and carbon dioxide based controls. Confirm by pressing OK. Adjust the supply and extract air flows of the boost mode. Measure the air flows from the supply and extract air valves. Do not change the adjustment settings of the air valves. Select the boost mode and turn it on. Select the boost settings by pressing the pen icon. Set the fan percentage of the boost mode. The supply and extract air ratio is the same as in the at home mode. Set the supply air temperature of the boost mode. Turn on humidity and carbon dioxide based controls. Select whether the timing of the boost mode is turned on or off. If on, set the duration of the boost. Confirm by pressing OK. Select fireplace in the menu. Set the efficiency of the extract air fan to the same level as in the at home mode. Increase the percentage of the supply air fan by the required amount. Ensure that the timer is turned on and check its duration. If there is no fireplace in the apartment, use the same fan percentages as in the at home mode. Airflow settings are now complete. Go to Expert Settings. Go to the Bypass settings of the Heat Recovery Cell. Turn on the Heat Recovery Cell Bypass. Go to the Save and Restore Settings menu. Save the setup settings. The setup is now complete. If you later on make any changes to any settings, such as the settings of analog or digital outlets, do not forget to save the setup settings.